going on everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to get mods on boneworks if you guys got it on oculus or steam let's get into it so the first thing you're going to need to do is just go to the first link down in the description and open it up it's going to be thunderstore.io for all of you it's going to be this link right here thunderstore.io you're going to go to this link you'll be right here so this is going to be the um the base the stuff that you need so i'm gonna show you everything you need so what we're gonna need is mod that is not mod so click on this mod that is not mod if i can click on it and then manual download you want to click on this so there's all these things right here but you want to click on manual download it's right here um, i'm going to put these i'll put i'll put uh, these two links in down in the description all the links that you need will be down in the description and what we're going to need to do from here is we're simply going to go ahead and open this file right here open this file and what we're going to do is close that we're going to open our file explorer now if you got an oculus you're going to need this pc c windows c program files um oculus down here oculus program files then oculus find oculus software 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 again you're going to see oculus software and then software again and then stress level zero ink bone works and this is your mods folder now i already have uh, some mods on here so i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it so you're going to get both of these folders right here and basically just put them inside of here so just drag those inside of there once you drag those inside of there you're going to have a lava gang melon loader double click that and then we'll see melon loader version all we're going to want to do in this one is uh get metal loader drag that file into here so this is your main directory folder you want to drag that in there so once you drag that in there you can delete it again then store any space on your thing um and then here uh now you can start downloading stuff so i'm gonna show you guys first how to get custom gun custom guns so once you have that uh, actually, before you go and start getting custom guns, you need to do something. You you won't have you don't have nothing. You'll just have mods, plugins, men loader. You won't have no nothing else. You need to run this Boneworks Oculus Windows 64. Run that application. This application right here. You need to run it. And then once you run it, a window is gonna pop up. I'll put it on the screen. A window is gonna pop up, and it's gonna, basically application. It's gonna download the application. Download Men Loader. If I run this, I'll just go ahead and run my game. So as you guys can see, it's going to run Melon Loader because I already have Melon Loader. But if you don't, it's going to go ahead and pull up an application for you. Now that you have that, we're going to be go ahead and get into how to actually go ahead and download cu some custom items. So custom, what we're going to do, we can just look up a gun. So if you want some type of gun, um, then this is what you can do. So, uh, so let's say I want to get a gun that I don't have already because I have a bunch of guns. So once you ran that. Also, once you ran that, it's going to start you in the game. You want to go in the game. And once you're in the game, like you're in the menu, you want to quit. And then you want to come back to these, and you'll have these files right here. You have user data, user libs, mods, plugins, menu loader. And, yeah, you have all that. Not this, though, because that's a mess I downloaded. But user data, user libs, plugins, and mods, and menu loader. You have that. So now once you have that, uh, you can go ahead and grab any custom item you want. Um, any custom NPC you could just put it in there. So I'll show you guys where to go. So if I want the admin deagle, all I'm gonna do is click on it. I'm gonna manual download, and then I'm gonna go over here to my file explorer. I'm gonna go to user data. I'm gonna go. So you'll have user data. What you're gonna do? You'll see custom items, custom maps. Uh, you won't have grenades, exploited assembly, player models, reshaders, and oh no, you won't have that. So you'll have player models, grenade. No, you won't have grenades, custom maps, custom items, and these two mono waivers and these. Um, so now you want to go ahead and open up that zip folder and then look for what it says custom items in your directory custom items Right here. So you won't have all these. These are all my guns that I installed You want to go ahead and click on custom items then you want to in this folder You'll probably see you'll either see custom items with the melon file inside of it or you'll just see the melon file By itself, but they're in here. So melon file. So once you have this melon file right here you want to just drag that puppy in boom and then there you go so it's in there now so now you're good user data um 
and then let's go ahead and drop some maybe if we want a custom npc let's go ahead and get a custom npc so if we just wanted uh this one right here gun forward pack i'm gonna go ahead and click on it uh we're gonna so how to get custom npcs and easy use manual download basically the same thing you do for guns and you're just gonna go and drop that custom npc that melon file whatever is in here you want to drag it in here so yeah these have my guns and also my custom npc so you want to wait for this down but basically that's all you do um you just drag the custom npc melon file inside of the custom items um now let's go ahead and player models so we're going to click on this one you're also going to need um for player models if you want to download it, you're going to need uh this player model thing you'll see I i'll put that link down in the description uh it's going to be this so this is going to have let you download player models and like use spider-man all that type of stuff so this link down in the description how we're going to put in this is simply just manual download click on the zip folder mods player models so you'll see this player models dll user data stress level ink bone works and then mods go into your mods for this time and then simply just drop that player models inside of here i already have it so i'm not going to go and replace it so yeah you're going to drag it inside of there and then you're good to go um then once you get go and have that now you can go ahead and draw drag um drag custom player model so we're going to manual download this player model so this if it says pm after it then it's a player model so now how we're going to do that is user data player models and then as you guys can see i have some of my things right here um so you won't have these but uh they're just other ones i put in so let's wait for this to download um it's going to be like swat outfit that you're gonna have so you're gonna click on this right here you're gonna go into a file explorer you're gonna go double click into player models and then you're gonna take both of these the um both of the body files that they have either whatever it will be in you want to just drag those puppies in there and then boom you're gonna have that so yeah so that's basically very easy um now i'm just gonna show you one more thing and then we're gonna get into it it's gonna be the custom maps which aren't hard you don't really need anything so what we're gonna do is Go ahead and drag get look up a map so we're just gonna say map we can find any map but or you could just go to most downloaded and look for any maps that like are there that's what usually i do um they usually update stuff so i'm gonna look for a map any map you want to find uh so let's just if i can't i can't find a map i cannot find a map let me go to this one any map you guys want to find uh any map you find hold on let me find but why can't i find a map whenever i want to find a map i can't find it map i should look it up map so oh uh to also download custom maps you're gonna need custom maps will also be down in the description you'll need uh you want to manual download that and then it's the same thing or open up the zip folder go to our file explorer so each time you want to download like any type of mod you're just gonna go to uh, a mods right here and then whatever custom dlo i mean dlo that's in there you want to just drag that puppy inside of the mods and then i already have it so i'm not going to go and replace it but yeah that's what you would do so once we got that we're going to go ahead and download a custom map which is fairly easy uh, so let's go and take this nuketown map it's going to take forever so i'm not going to go ahead and download that i'm just going to go ahead and download this uh little playground map that they have going on um and then i'm going to manually download that then all you're going to want to do is, oh my goodness, bro. Like, my internet is so slow for some reason. Whenever I record, it's so slow, so I'm not going to download that map, bro. Like, no, it's not happening. Um, Construction site, maybe? Maybe construction site. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you want to do is just go and open up and then open up. Then there'll be, like, a BMC file. So, we're going to go to Stress Level Inc. Um, we're going to go to User Data. We're going to go to Custom Maps. And then... I'm going to show you guys what you guys need to actually go and put inside of here. But yeah, it's fairly easy. Um, if you guys got everything, if you need any help, go and join the Discord down in the description. Yeah. So you're going to open up that zip folder. You're going to have this. Any any BCM files you have inside of here, you just want to drag them inside of here. And then bam, any type of BCM, then you could just go and delete. And then boom, you have it. So I'm going to go and get to my game. Once I'm in the game, I'll show you guys how to use all these things. Okay, so guys, once you get in here, it's going to be fairly easy. Um, you're going to open up your bone works. If I can put my hands on. So you're going to open up. You're going to have bone works. You're going to be in this menu um, right here. Um, and then what you want to go and do is I'm pretty sure it's going to be the B button. The B on the um, top right. 
on the right hand you're gonna click that hold that b button and you're gonna have bone menu then this is all the menu you won't have camera plus um probably not col uh, collectible spawners you'll have player models you scroll down and you have custom maps and you'll also have um and then you'll have mod that is not mod but you can go and spawn in things so i'm just gonna tell you change your player model first um so the player model that you downloaded you're gonna click on player models then you're gonna have all your player models right here um so i'm gonna find that one that i downloaded you guys don't have all these because i did download more so this is the one that i downloaded you'll have it right in here so you just click on the one that you downloaded and boom you got it so this one is fairly kind of weird very kind of it's kind of weird but it still works you know what i mean it still works so how do we get the custom items that we spawned in right how do we get them let me take off this this thing first because i don't like this player model i'm gonna go back to my lamar but go ahead and you're gonna want to scroll up mod that is not mod click on that and you're gonna click on item spawning utility gun if you don't have the utility gun what you want to do is go and grab that um hold the b button go to utilities you're gonna have all your custom guns that are in you're gonna have them in here so let's find that tactical deagle i think that i downloaded yeah it is that one so this one you'll have it right here it's a uh, it's very cool. I mean, I like the deagle. Um, you know, you could load it. And the custom items will work fine. They have that laser. You can go and spawn in. Maybe you could spawn in some enemies. Um, NPCs. Forward. And you can go ahead and just play around with them. How's it going? And yeah. It's pretty fun. I'll be... I play on, on this every single 24-7. So how do we load in my custom maps? So let's figure out how to do that. Go to Boneworks. Scroll down, you'll see custom maps, and what we're gonna do from here is basically just see this is the one that we downloaded, ST um, Dev Construction Site. You'll find the ones that you downloaded inside of here with the same name, .bcm. Click on it, it's gonna load you into it. So let's go ahead and do that. So it might take like five seconds, maybe. Um, and then it's gonna load you into a whole new map, which is pretty fun. And then there's also a FNF map that I would suggest you download. And sometimes they have guns there. I mean, they spawn and stuff for you. Also, if you don't have ammo, what we're gonna do is go over here to our bone menu. Hold the B, go to our bone menu. Uh, mod, that is not mod. Ammo menu. And then you can spawn that much ammo. Medium also, and then heavy. So, then, let's click our gun. And we can also spawn in the, uh, the things that are custom items, maybe, if we want to. I have a bunch of custom items. Um, you know, a bunch of just nice guns I got here. And why oh, is not letting me do that? So, Tactical Deagle. Um, I also have other guns that you guys should download. Uh, a good gun that I would download for you guys is the G18 uh, Glock. It's a Glock 18 Glock with a big stick, bro. It's a fun gun to play with. Um, I like the gun. It's very fun to play with. So, it's like, bro, why is my man? Right, let's just go and use our custom deagle that we downloaded. And then, we could just go ahead and huh! go and kill people. 